various pursuits, wildest shootouts, and most outrageous outlaws from around the world. Much of this footage has never been seen before. We've gathered these stories from police. What do we need to take him out here now? News agencies. Oh, no! Even citizens on patrol to show you the stark reality that criminals have declared you the enemy. And knowing your opponent is the only way this war will be won. I'm Sheriff John Bunnell. The role of a police officer changes from minute to minute. Go to a domestic dispute and you might have to practice some diplomacy. Find a victim of violence and you need to give aid and comfort. But come across a dangerous offender, you better be tough as nails. Because some criminals won't stop until there's no other choice. Detroit, Michigan. A very dangerous situation through this area. The man inside this pickup just stole the vehicle out of the owner's driveway. In the auto capital of America, a ride like this might earn him a grand at a shady chop shop. Now, with cops on his tail, he's determined to salvage his score. This driver is refusing to stop for police. But his relentless drive to cash in is leaving him blind to other traffic. Oh, another one. He's blowing through red light after red light as he stays laser focused on his payday. Right now on the wrong side of the roadway. Officers decide to hang back. You can see police are kind of keeping a little bit of distance here. This outlaw's reckless greed has made him a threat to everyone else on the road. At these speeds, one mistake could cost another driver their life. Or their mistake could cost him his. distracted motorist turns left, hitting the pickup's rear panel and flipping it into a utility pole. The vehicle bursts into flames. The gas tank must have ruptured on that pickup truck. A startling crash here. Police rush in to help, but their small extinguishers can't douse the tremendous inferno. And the pickup truck is totally immersed in flames. Emergency workers arrive moments later. The van's driver is okay, but the suspect died instantly. Certainly the person driving could not possibly survive this. In his quest for a few bucks... This driver is refusing to stop for police. This crook didn't care if he was endangering others. Oh, another one. He's blowing through red light after red light. But in the end, he was the one who came under fire. In Phoenix, Arizona, two jewel thieves launch a brutal raid. Using mace, they blind the shopkeep. But when they bash open the display, their short-sighted plan gets blasted. The clerk pulls out a pistol. And these guys find themselves locked in. Now they're scrambling like ducks in a shooting gallery. Fighting through the chemicals, the 61-year-old aims at the sound of the punks. This pimpin' fool is actually wearing high heels as he bumbles for cover. When the boss's eyesight returns, he strikes back at the cornered thugs. And the butt of his gun stings even more than pepper spray. He hits his bonehead so hard, it discharges the weapon. By now, both bandits have sustained a gunshot wound and are begging for mercy. Their wish is granted. 
An officer arrives, and the owner lets him nail these guys with criminal charges. These crooks thought their robbery scheme was visionary. But it turned out to be a shot in the dark. Now, they're left staring down the barrel of a lengthy prison sentence. Helsinki, Finland. At a farmer's market, a vendor is in a real pickle. The man is from Estonia, and local cops are busting him for selling produce without a permit. When he can't argue his case in broken Finnish, he switches to the universal language. Why Finland police Estonia? Of rage. Finland police The police have had enough and move to subdue the man. Hey, 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 hey. But this produce pusher is about to go nuts. One officer warns him by opening his telescoping baton. Hey, I want here lawyer. But when they pepper spray the guy, No, I want lawyer here. He peppers them with potatoes. The cops take their best shots but it only makes the green grocer see red. When he prowls for more ammo, he spots an empty fruit tray and serves up a fierce defense. Another blow to the knee doesn't even faze him. A do-gooder with a broom steps in and pokes at Mr. Potato Head, thinking he's helping the officer. For a moment, the vigilante does provide a distraction. But he also provides this brute with a new weapon. Now, he's looking for a clean sweep of his enemies. Just one man! I want only for lawyer! Cops have done everything they can to avoid trading punches with this blowhard, who clearly eats pepper spray for lunch. But even as he faces four good-sized opponents, He's more concerned with making like a ninja than making peace. If he's spoiling for a fight, that's exactly what he'll get. The lawmen swarm, pinning the masher against the booth and knocking the sticks from his hands. The takedown costs one patrolman a bloody lip, but the peddler will pay for this outburst through the nose. He stupidly turned a paperwork spat into a marketplace melee. And now, after the way he violently snapped, he'll have plenty of time to talk to his lawyer. Coming up on World's Wildest Police Videos. Oh my God, this guy's gonna kill somebody. Topless protesters show that they're more than a handful. A Hollywood hothead oh, look out. There are people there. has his close-up with catastrophe. Oh, wow. This guy is crazy. And a suspected drunk driver gives a cop a face full of proof. Then later, a pulse-pounding chase leads to a heart-stopping shootout. You'll have to see to believe. Some people think the driving home buzzed is no big deal. But every 60 seconds, people are injured in alcohol-related traffic accidents. And that's why the cops are out there looking for those DUIs. And it can be downright ridiculous how blind drunks are to their own condition. Laguna Beach, California. SBS clear and Toyota. Officer Tony White lights up this weaving Toyota Prius for suspicion of drunk driving. The vehicle pulls to a stop at a closed gas station. It's good that the lot is empty because this guy is loaded. Step out of the vehicle. 
He claims he's only had two drinks. You step out of the vehicle, sir. So Officer White wants him to prove it with a sobriety test. Step out of the vehicle. But just getting out of the car becomes a test of its own when the driver forgets one important detail. And his makeup exam doesn't go any better. Instead of using parts, he puts it in reverse. And the sedan ghost rides into the cruiser. And when he corrects a mistake, he's really up a tree. The guy can't imagine what went wrong. But White can. The driver's blood alcohol is three times the legal limit, earning him three years of probation and a permanent mark on his moron record. It was foolish for him to have ever gotten behind the wheel. And his bad decision trapped him between a cop and a hard place. Hollywood, California. Suspect moving extremely fast right through that intersection. In a town where everyone wants to be famous, this 22-year-old car thief will risk anything to stay unknown. He stole this ride in the nearby community of Silver Lake. But now, in the monstrous sprawl of LA, this kid is lost. Taking a right turn now, heading back eastbound. To elude police, he's ripping around random corners and flooring it through Tinseltown traffic. Now into oncoming lanes, right past those cruisers. But his gonzo driving starts to catch up with him. All right, coming up on an intersection here. There's a pickup. Oh, he hits him. He clips a motorist, tearing pieces off the man's truck. But it doesn't slow him down. At the next corner, he nearly wipes out several crossing pedestrians. Oh, look out. There are people there. This guy just refuses to slow down. But no matter how many insane chances this lunatic takes... Another near miss. The combo of Hollywood congestion and not knowing where he's going... He's just turning in random directions now. ...makes it easy for officers to track him. And they know it's just a matter of time before something awful happens. The desperate crook accelerates between cars at paint exchanging distance. Oh, wow. This guy is crazy. It gives him just enough of a lead to try his most outrageous stunt yet. Looks like he's slowing down here. He pulls onto a quiet street and bails out of the still rolling van. Oh, he jumped out and the car's still going. As the suspect dives to the concrete, his runaway SUV nearly mows down several people on foot. Oh, that was a close one. The thief is already working on his next move. Carjacking another vehicle with a mother and child inside. But police nab him before he can pull it off. All right, officers are swarming him. In the mayhem, the panic driver bails and scrambles to get her kid away from the madman. Officers quickly whisk her and the little girl to safety. And a cop signals code four. All right, they've got him. It's over. Suspect in custody. In addition to Grand Theft Auto, this car thief acquired an impressive array of possible charges. From felony invasion... Oh, look out! There are people there! ...to reckless driving. From hit and run to reckless endangerment. Plus, attempted carjacking and kidnapping. And of course, resisting arrest. It's the kind of resume that will make him famous to law enforcement everywhere. McDonough County, Illinois. 
Sergeant Perkins responds to a terrifying scene. A wrecked vehicle engulfed in flames with someone still trapped inside. Trooper Todd Atkinson is already on the scene, helping the driver and a passenger try to reach their friend in the back seat. Atkinson fights to pull the door open. And the rescuers dive inside as Perkins radios for medics. Give me an ambulance, fire truck, everything. They struggle to pull their man free. And when they do, he's on fire. The rescuers frantically try to put him out, using their coats to attack the blaze. But no matter how much they fight it, it continues to chew away at his clothes and his flesh. At this point, they have no idea if the boy is still alive. The men beat at the relentless flame, but the intense heat and fresh oxygen conspire to keep them going. Finally, with more than 70% of his body scorched, the fire is extinguished. And incredibly, he's still breathing. It will take 27 skin graft surgeries, but he will recover. These were three college boys returning to school after break, when the driver fell asleep. For the one who was trapped in the back and overwhelmed by the inferno, only the actions of a brave trooper kept this road trip from becoming a permanent vacation. Just ahead, on World's Wildest Police Video, a man on trial for murder gets a killer greeting at the courthouse. A car thief with tunnel vision has a blind spot for officers and a violent outlaw bends off an army of cops and takes an explosive last stand. Next. Police around the world have to play by different rules. Go to England and you won't find many officers carrying one of these. For them, their primary weapon is sheer guts. Slough, England. A hard-charging car thief is about to find out just how tough British police can be. When he roars down a two-lane road, he ends up stuck in a narrow tunnel choked with traffic. And the vermin panic. Cornered, the maniac guns it in reverse, crunching into the patrol car. Officers swarm, fearlessly bashing his ride with their nightsticks. And one gutsy motorcycle cop even blocks him in with his bike. It's a costly move. The lawman is thrown to the asphalt, his head nearly crushed between the cars. His helmet keeps him from being killed instantly. And amazingly, the moment he's free, he's back on his feet. The pump continues his rampage, ramming a trapped civilian, like a high-speed bulldozer. But the policemen don't flinch. Another squad car quickly pins him in. And leading the charge is the mowed down motorcycle cop who reaches in the car and blasts him with mace. The stinging spray gives the heroic officer the last laugh. The madman thought his recklessness behind the wheel would leave cops feeling outgunned. But these brave Brits overcame his best shots without firing any of their own. Tacoma, Washington. Court has just gone to recess in a gang-related murder trial. A couple of people are here in support of the suspected killer. But these four guys and one gal are loyal friends of the victim, a boy named Victor Schwinke. Two of the posse wander into an adjacent hallway. They want justice for Victor. 
but not through the courts. When a deputy orders them out, they calmly return to their pals, knowing that the suspect, Marcel Henderson, is about to be taken back to his cell. And when Henderson is brought down the corridor, a violent verdict is suddenly delivered. Three of the friends tear away from a guard, then overrun the attending officers and swarm their cuffed opponent. The ruckus is heard by those in the courtroom, including the hulking friend of Marcel, and the fourth associate suddenly feels his wrath. Now it's a slugfest. Help is on the way. But the prisoner could be dead in seconds. A taser is the only answer. One by one, the three attackers get zapped and fall instantly. With all the tasers on scene fired, the suspect's buddy continues his assault until he learns a painful lesson. A deployed taser can be used in direct contact as a stun gun. And 50,000 volts arcing through his chest have crushed his desire to fight. As other officers rush in, the brawl is over. Less than 60 seconds from start to finish. The inmate is escorted out. Somewhat the worse for wear. But he'll have lots of company behind bars tonight. Murder trials are a launch pad for wildly soaring emotions. Participants are often sky high on rage and revenge. But tasers bring that adrenaline rush right back down to earth. Still to come on World's Wildest Police Videos. A pair of reckless bandits. Police are calling these suspects armed and dangerous. Is double trouble to other drivers. Oh no! Big crash! A beefy suspect ah! turns lawmen into cowboys. And some feisty bombshells flash their bazookas. Next! Phoenix, Arizona. A ruthless couple has just triggered a volatile situation. When police tried to stop them for a simple speeding violation, they're heading eastbound now. They actually shot at the officers. Police are calling these suspects armed and dangerous. Now they're on the run with an unwilling female friend in the passenger seat. Worried about the trapped civilian, cops keep their distance. Then at a stoplight, Wait a second, somebody's getting out of the car. The suspects let their gal pal bail. It's the first smart thing they've done all day. Unfortunately, it will also be the last. Police and unmarked trucks box them in. But before the officers can take them down, a frightened driver gives the pair an escape route. And now that truck's pulling away. This chase is not over. Now they're free once again to terrorize other motorists. They repeatedly barrel through cross traffic. Whoa, right through that intersection. And risk a smash up at every turn. The duo treats the city like a high octane playground. Charging through construction zones. And plowing through gas stations. As their car falls to pieces. Cops aren't even certain these two rebels are trying to get away. And this guy's making another U-turn. With so many close calls. Oh wow, look out! Pursuing units know it's only a matter of time before an innocent motorist pays the price. Oh no, big crash! This guy is spun out in traffic. 
the vicious pair roars through a red light and slams into two unsuspecting drivers. Luckily, the commuters will be okay, but the offender's car has been crippled for good. Officers once again surround the renegades. Get out of the car! And this time... Get out of the car! There's no escape. These Bonnie and Clyde bandits... Police are calling these suspects armed and dangerous. Senselessly cranked up a conflict. For no other reason... No! ...than their love of danger. Now they can kiss their lawless flank... Whoa! Right through that intersection! ...and their freedom... Oh no! They crash! Goodbye. Auburn, Texas. We're currently west towards the track. Police respond to a report of a late night rogue terrorizing the streets. Coming this way, brother. But reining in this suspect will be a Texas sized task. Coming this way, brother. This bighorn bull broke out of his pen and headed off for a night on the town. Police try to corral him before he gores a pedestrian. They decide to bring in some specialists. A gang of real Texas cowboys. Lassoing the sloping lummox is hard hanging out a car window. Even when the buckaroo connects, the ornery bull just shakes the rope loose. Your cowboy's fired. <laughs> Finally, a crew lands a loop on the beast. I got one more. And they wrangle the animal for the takedown. How do I find my getting this thing home? Oh, we're not <laughs> After a four-mile jaunt, this bull's plum tuckered out. Cops have to deal with some difficult suspects. But this is one roundup they couldn't handle alone. Fortunately, they had help who could saddle up and end this Wild West showdown. Coming up on World's Wildest Police Videos. A cop hating culprit gets in over his head. But first, frisky Russian protesters show off their rabble rouser. Next. Police don't take sides in a protest. Their only duty is to uphold the law. So when demonstrators go too far, the cops have to step in and maintain order. And some activists use methods you'd never believe. Moscow, Russia. A group of women has chosen a unique way to speak out against a gas company's high prices. Despite the bitter cold, the activists heat up the scene with a topless protest. They argue the bills are so expensive, people are losing their shirts. It's quite the demonstration, and it's gotten reporters to take notice. But while the gals are talking and the press is gawking, police send them walking. Even though the women may have good points, cops have to nip this in the bud. But later, at a Moscow polling booth, the same women use their flashy tactics again. This time, they reveal their resentment of Russian leader Vladimir Putin. When they try to steal several ballot boxes, police prevent them from racking up charges of voter fraud. But the nudists will probably call this a political cover-up. Of course, proving that you can't keep a good woman down, the perky dames go at it again in Kiev, Ukraine. This time they invade the home of the Indian ambassador, claiming that his country views all Russian women as prostitutes. Somehow, 
They don't see the irony of taking that stance while half naked. You have to wonder if they really believe in these causes, or if they're just putting up a front. Once again, it's up to police to end the peep show. After all, they are trespassing and resisting arrest. Even if you don't consider this indecent exposure. These women may have had a lot to get off their chest. But it wasn't the injustices they revealed that got everyone's attention. And once cops were brought abreast of their unlawful display, all of their campaigns were a bust. Port Orange, Florida. The man in this pickup is suspected of a hit and run. Pickup truck. And the sound of a siren behind him sparks an angry encore. I need backup. After bashing an officer's police car, he takes off and nearly nails the sedan in cross traffic. Seconds later, the cop finds him terrorizing another unit. The raging perp is chasing the cruiser. As if he's hoping to wreck every squad car in the county. With a wild swerve, he makes contact, bashing in the truck. But on his next try, he miscalculates. Big time. On these wet streets, a hard cut sends him skidding into the divider. The truck is thrown onto its roof. The police aren't taking any chances. For all they know, this ticked off time bomb could crawl out with an Uzi. But you don't hit a wall at 65 miles an hour. Let me see your hands and just walk away. Get your hands where I can see them. You'll wake up with a doozy of a headache and a date with a judge. That ought to give him something to be mad about. This furious felon started out with a hit and run, then turned to crutching every cop car he could find. But he couldn't control his truck any better than his anger. Just ahead, on world's wildest police video. It's a chilling standoff you don't want to miss. Take me on out, man. Between a stone cold suspect and cops with ice in their veins. Next. If cops are the first line of defense against criminals, the SWAT team is the last. This tactical unit takes on kidnappers, armed robbers, even domestic terrorists. Believe me, any incident that needs these guys is extremely dangerous. Bowling Green, Kentucky. What started out as an arson warrant is about to become an epic battle with the law. The man in this El Camino, Russell Sublet, is accused of setting a fire that killed several horses. Now the alleged firebug is proving to be a threat to humans, too. He repeatedly aims his grill at oncoming vehicles. Police work to spike his tires. At the roadblock ahead, he blew a tire, he blew a tire. the trap works. But losing his treads won't stop this guy. All it does is make him even more reckless. Sublet rams a motorist off the road in a cloud of dust. Somehow, the fugitive recovers from the crash. But 
But his crippled car doesn't have any life left. And that's when the renegade reveals a deadly backup plan. Sublet bails from the shattered ride and flashes a gun at police. He fires backward at officers as he races toward a woman in a sedan. Police can't risk shooting the innocent civilian. But when the gunman shoves the driver away, cops try to take him out. Get him. We did not get him. Unbelievably, Sublet has kicked this chase into high gear once again. But lawmen quickly catch up, sending the thug scrambling around slower traffic. But this isn't just a random flight. He has a destination in mind. And a plan. Great, Still he suddenly veers off road, obliterating a wooden fence. It's the home of his former boss. The owner is away. The cops are about to learn. There's an extensive weapons collection inside. With plenty of arms at his disposal, Sublet holds up for a lengthy standoff that will stretch on for four days. Police use a robot camera to get a close-up view of the barricaded suspect. They spy him in a basement alcove, holding a 12-gauge shotgun. But he's got them in his sights, too. Sublet takes a pot shot at the law. He's answered with a hail of bullets. He looks to get off another round. But the Desperado is about to be blindsided by a real trigger man. This time, a sniper wings him in the shoulder. Even wounded, the stubborn outlaw refuses to give in. Knowing Sublet is hurt, police soften their approach and open a line of communication. Did you get that water they sent down to you? Yeah. Do you need anything else? Nah, just him go ahead and do the job. They soon discover why he's taking this desperate stand. Go ahead and just take me on out, man. Sublet has a death wish. Well, that's, our job isn't to take you out, Russ. Our job well, is to the way it's got to be, man. Our job is to help you out, get you out safe. The disturbed man rebuffs their assistance. I'd rather be dead than have to be locked back up. I'm like these horses out here in the back field. I like to run. But slowly, the negotiator eases the tension. Just think about the future and, and getting past all this. And I'm gonna be there, Russell. It looks like Sublet's rigid facade starts to crack. Just give me some help, man. That's all I'm asked. But police aren't sure if he's really done fighting. I'm pretty sure so he's got this gun down his steps, man. Hey, I'll be glad to meet you. Just put the gun down. Be safe. I will be the first one to meet you. Until finally, he gives up. Just keep your hands up and I'll step out when you can see me. Okay. Okay. Now I ain't got no gun. Sublet is later convicted on several counts of attempted murder. It's incredible that his rampage didn't end with a body count. Instead, thanks to police persistence, and patience. Hey, did you get that water they sent down to you? His killer intentions were shot down. Whether they're on the attack 
or on the run. This guy just refuses to slow down. Outlaws will try anything to get away with their crimes. But cops are always there to counter every move. Protect the innocent. Give me an ambulance, fire truck, everything. And bring the criminals God, this guy's gonna kill somebody. to justice.